Hey, what's going on? This time, instead of making chicken, we're gonna make uh, homemade cheeseburgers. So what we're gonna do first, I'm gonna start off with this uh, pound of lean ground beef. I'm gonna start off with this Old Bay seasoning. Now, once again, I know there's plenty of other seasonings out there, which I'm gonna get to in other videos, but like I was saying with the fried chicken video, if you're moving out for the first time, you're not, you're new to cooking on your own, you're not sure what seasons to start off, start off with something like this, something like an all-purpose seasoning. So this is good for seafood, poultry, salads, and meats. It has a, a multitude of things in there. So um, salt, you know, pepper, red pepper, and paprika. So this is just if you're not sure what to use for um, your cooking. So this is what we're going to use for our basic burgers. All right, so now I got my, my seasoning mixed in some. I've mashed around the burgers. Make sure you get the seasoning in real good. Now, what I'm gonna do, the ones I'm gonna cook right now, I can go ahead and get ready for the skillet, but the ones I'm not gonna use, I'm gonna put in, uh, I'm gonna wrap up and I'm gonna put it in my refrigerator. All right, now, so what we're gonna do, so now we're ready to start putting our, oops, <laughs> that's a blooper. But now, now we're ready to start putting our uh, burgers on the skillet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this Pam spray, nonstick spray. Gonna go ahead, spray a light coat on. I have the skillet right now on uh, low, medium heat. So now we can go ahead and start adding our burgers. Now I put mine on a little early. I'm um, gonna you wait until it's heating up nice and good. You're gonna do that, you know, and as it heats up, you're gonna cook it about four or five minutes on each side, maybe longer. You wanna have at least an internal temperature of, I wanna say 165 for beef. Um, you can correct me in the comments if you know off the top of your head, but you wanna make sure it's cooked. And then um, the way that you like yours cooked might be different. Some people, I like mine's well done. You might like yours uh, medium well or things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and cook and I'm gonna show you the finished product. So we've had these burgers on the skillet for a few minutes now. What's gonna happen, I'm gonna take a skillet and I'm gonna go ahead and start flipping the burgers over. You wanna get it even cooked on both sides. So I'm about to go ahead and flip the burgers over and then we'll come back. So right now we still have it cooking. I flipped it over once sprinkle a little more seasoning in while it's cooking now i still have a few more minutes because i want to make sure that it's cooked in both sides make sure there's not any blood left or anything now as it starts to finish what i'm going to do though the two that i'm going to eat today because i'm going to eat one now and one later i'm going to take a slice of cheese and i'm going to put the cheese on there while i still want to skillet it that way it gets melted pretty good into the burger so we have some time left so once I'm ready to start putting the cheese on, I'll, I'll come back. All right, so I'm almost starting to wrap up with the first two burgers. These burgers I put in first, so they, they don't have as much time to go. The only thing, you know, with burgers is you have to be careful to make sure you don't overcook them. You don't want to completely dry them out. You want to make sure they still have some uh, water in them or some flavor. So we're almost done. I'm almost ready to put these two on the bun. The other two have a few more minutes. Now, this is my finished product. So now that we have this, you can go ahead and put all your seasoning, I mean, not your seasoning, your condiments on. If you wanna put on any lettuce, tomatoes, um, you know, ketchup, mustard, things like that. Now, once again, I definitely recommend getting a food thermometer, which I'll be picking up also. I need to get one for myself because you definitely wanna make sure uh, this is cooked to the right temperature. You don't wanna get any illnesses or get food poisoning or anything from not um, cooking your meat the right way. So. This is making homemade burgers with me. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll definitely be back for another one. So I finished the first burger and I must say it did turn out pretty well. So I'm gonna finish the second burger in a while. So go ahead and try this, see if it works out. Again, make sure, this is really important, make sure you get a, a, a food thermometer. You don't wanna undercook your burgers, but especially with burgers, you don't wanna overcook them either because then you dry them out and you know it makes them tough and you know then you won't want to eat those either so 
Uh, like, comment, subscribe. See how it works for you.